we're gonna have a tour today. Look at this beautiful guest house for state uh, dignitaries. There you go. Hello. Wow. Ta da! Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Lakao Mansion. Historic buildings were their finest charm and rich history hold a special place in our hearts. But as this world evolves, how can we ensure that these architectural gems are preserved and continue to thrive? This current administration has done just that. Through the efforts of our dear President and First Lady, we are taking a captivating journey as innovative ways have been used to restore these historic buildings, breathing new life into their storied past. The La Perla Mansion is one of the most exquisite among the old colonial star residences here in the district of San Miguel, Manila. Situated only a few blocks away from Malacanian Palace, this stately building with its neoclassical architecture has played a significant role in our country's history, serving on two occasions as residents of our former presidents Corazon Aquino and Fidel Ramos during their respective administration. It is our pleasure to inform you that the mansion was recently restored to serve as residents of visiting heads of states and governments. Overall, there are 14 bedrooms and two sunrooms adorned with locally crafted furniture and each one named after a former president. As our First Lady mentioned during its opening a few weeks ago, this mansion was renovated to provide a safe, comfortable, and meaningful place for our visiting heads of state or international guests during their visit to the Philippines. Today, the Lapel Mansion will continue to tell the story of fostering and strengthening friendships amongst nations. So once again, welcome to the Lapel Mansion. It is our pleasure to have you here. We hope you enjoy the tour. Thank you. Let's go inside. Oh. Gloria Macapagal or just Dato Macapagal? The father, the uh, father or just Dato? The president of the Philippines, we have just Dato Pangan Macapagal, also known as Pool Boy from Dubao, Pampanga. Even though he came from a very poor family, he finished his law degree in University of Santo Tomas. And hindi niya po nakalimutan ang kanyang roots. That's why when he was the president, he implemented the extensive land reform, irrigation system for farmers, and also distribution of electricity to all parts of the country. And during his presidency, he established the Land Bank of the Philippines and the Philippine Veterans Bank. He was known as the incorruptible president, the champion of the common man. And also, he changed the day of the Independence Day from July 4, even if it was on June 12. Yes, so, okay. Everyone, we have a portrait here that was painted by Romeo Enriquez. Cool. So President Elpidio Rivera Quirino was known as the father of Philippine foreign relations. And during his time, he implemented, he was the personal secretary of President Quezon. Quezon opened his eyes into politics, that's why in 1925 he became a senator. In 1946 he became the vice president. And during his time as the vice president, he opened several Philippine embassies outside the country. That's why he was called as the father of Philippine foreign relations. So we have a portrait here of Chiron, the centaur, and also Achilles. Who made this portrait? This by who? The portraits? The portraits all came from Alacanian. Ah, okay. All of these, um, a lot of our furniture here and paintings came from our storage in Malacanian. Cool, cool, cool. And this, this room is designed by? Ram Bukoy. Okay, yeah, Ram, yes. Designed by Anton Barreto and Arthur. <laughs> and Tessa Allen Dogan. Wow, I love the shade of blue. So President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo graduated from Assumption wow, College. Nice. And she transferred to Georgetown University. And re she returned to the Philippines. And she finished her bachelor's degree in economics in Assumption College. And she became the professor in the University of the Philippines and also at the Neo de Manila University. And during her term as the president, she abolished the death penalty. She implemented the economic law, or holiday economic law. Mm. Is this one of her? Yes. It, That's her bar saya. Her bar what, which event? Uh, actually, we're still doing research about that. Okay, everyone, this is the Garcia Suite. 
So he was known as the Prince of Visayan Poetry. He was born in Bohol, also a great player of chess. He implemented the Filipino First Policy during his time. Oh. oh, nice. Yes. Cute. Yes. And we have also a portrait of President Carlos P. Garcia. So, siya rin po ang nag-implement na pagbibigay ng kagawaran ng, sa mga national artists sa ating bansa. Which is now ngayon, yun po yung precursor ng national artist. Who designed this room? Ay, ah, ang ganda nga. So, Anton, no? Yes. This one, no? Look at that. No? That's China Yula. Chino Yula is yeah. work, it's Chino! Ganda! Wow! And the, the I, I I love the... Even the wallpaper I love. Yeah. So, Estrada. so he was the action star president. He was born in Tondo, Manila. Many Filipinos mm. think na siya po ay pinanganak in San Juan. But he became the mayor. Siya po ay lumaki sa San Juan. And naging mayor po siya for about 17 years. And po? And during his time, when he was the president, he implemented the protection for the Philippine Carabaos, the irrigation system for Filipino farmers, and also, as you can see, we have a portrait here of President Joseph Ejercito Estrada. And we have a little copy of the first detailed Philippine map. Then we have a Spanish po, Spanish artist. Known as the champion of the common champion of the masses, he was born in Iba Zambales. He was a mechanic before he became the president. And during his presidency, Philippines was one of the most cleanest and well-governed country of the uh, of the Asia. And before he became the president, also he was a bus company manager in private Chan company. Mm. And this is the uh, Tito Villanueva. Okay. of the Philippines, the youngest to become one. At the age of 29, he was already our president. He led the Philippine Revolution. He was the leader of the Bandalo faction, the two groups of Katipunan. And this is the room of President Aguinaldo. So it was designed by Jonathan Matthias. Oh. So the communal areas were done by Jonathan Matthias. Beautiful. The tiles, the chairs. Wow. Yes, communal areas for Jonathan. Jonathan, we're very lucky to have as our in house consultant. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's unfortunate. I just represent Thanks, President Corazon Aquino stayed in this mansion during her presidency. Mm -hmm. And also President Fidel Valdez Ramos. Mm. This is the one that's by the farm, yeah. It's going to be serviced by them. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, Zion Conrad's not here. Wow. Yeah, they're in this comment. I'm explain. This is salon, pa? Yes. yes. It's for makeup and hair. Mm. So, Conrad. Conrad, he's coming now, so you can explain so, more. Everyone, this is the Magellan Room. It features the four portraits of navigators. So it was commissioned by Margarita Rojas, and she gave it to her daughter, which which wears she po ay si Trinidad de Ayala, and she donated it to National Library. And during President Quezon's time, inacquired niya po ito. At ito po ay naging part na ng malaking collection. And here we have the four portraits of the navigators. We have. Ferdinand Bajalan, we have also Christopher Columbus, we have Hernan Cortez, and Juan Sebastian Elgato. Perfect. The room of General Douglas MacArthur. The MacArthur room. So, we have a fame, there's a famous saying that promises are meant to be broken. 
but one American man fulfilled his promise to the Filipinos, and that is General Douglas MacArthur. He returned to the Philippines together with our President Sergio Osmeña Sr. And in October 20, 1944, they landed on the Philippines in Leyte. That's why we have the landing in Leyte. And one by one, they defeated the Japanese forces and they recaptured the Philippine Islands. They started from Visayas, Mindanao, and Luzon. So everyone, welcome to the MacArthur Room. Suite of President Quezon. So the first president of Commonwealth government, he was instrumental during the passage of Tidings Magdapia, which paved the way to the Philippine independence. He was known as the father of, Philipp of the national language and he gave the women the right to vote during his time. Wow. He was the first elected to national election. And as you can see, we have a portrait there. He was the first president that was featured in Time magazine also. And that on the on the upper, we have the artwork. It was created by Guillermo Tolentino. So that was the artwork of General Douglas MacArthur. So this room was designed by Tania Frique, who is downstairs, so maybe she can answer all of your questions. Nice. Sure, sure. So this is Jonathan Matthias. Was it by coincidence that this is the largest? So actually, there are two. This, originally, there was two this size. Ah, but okay. we cut the other ones to accommodate more. Presidents. Uh, no, for more staff. Ah, okay. No. Okay, President Marcos Sr. had the longest presidential term. He became the president for almost 21 years. And he finished his law degree in the University of the Philippines. And he was born in Sarat, Ilongos Norte. And we have a portrait here that was created by Ben Ah, oh, so big. And it's the view of the pool. Aquino the third. Noi Noi. Yes. Pinoy. Then Pinoy. Here. He graduated from Ateneo de Manila University. Nakakuha po siya ng economics degree and naging professor niya rin po ang ating former president Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Oh. And after that, siya po ay nag-serve sa isang private company which is Nike. He was in Nike? Yes, so he was. He wow, I didn't know Nike that. Po. And he became a senator and during his presidency, he implemented the K-12 program, I, I the no one one policy and this is the room of President Benigno Aquino Also, Senior The third boy, yes Actually, actually Benigno Aquino, Simeon Simeon Benigno Aquino Pero, that's why Yun po, yung design Sino yung designer nila? Kahit kami rin po, ay nalilito Bakit po, Benigno Aquino, Simeon So, he was a top notcher during his time And during the Japanese occupation, he helped the resistance movement. And yun po, President, President Manuel Acuña Rojas. Pinanganak po, siya po ay Tubong Katis. Ah. Which is now called the Rojas City ngayon. Ah, oh, Rojas City yes, na siya, ang Kapis. Part na po. Ay, hindi po Kapis. Show us the mural, Tanya. So there we have it. So oh, wow. So we have a mm -hmm. to depict what it was like once upon a time so that everybody can feel the Philippines with this room. Different wow, elements. look at that. So nice. And right outside is the Philippine flag. And this one is so nice cute. Tropicalia. Thank you. Uh, the suite of President Duterte. Wow, I'm interested in this. So the first Mindanawan president of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. He was the oldest to become one at the, uh, at the old age of 71 when he became the president. Mm -hmm. And during his term, he implemented a build, build, build program for building of infrastructure here in the Philippines. Like the first subway in the Philippines, it will be open in 2029. Wow. He implemented also really? the free tuition for tertiary education or college education. And, <laughs> and also we have, he implemented also the War on Drugs program and 
And marami pa po, tulad po. So, the designer is Chat Forest, who also designed this Manila home. Mmm, perfect. So what when she drew, drew the lot? Yes, yeah. perfect. What are we designed? So the first female president of the Philippines. And uh, as you can see, she was part of the Woman of the Year in 1987. Also in 2006, the featured Polisha as part of the 60 Years of Asian Heroes. And she studied in Mount College of Mount St. Vincent in New York. And nakapagtapos po siya ng kanyang bachelor's degree in arts. Major in French, minor in mathematics. And she took up law subjects on, in Far Eastern University. However, hindi niya po ito natapos. And this one is the, uh, is the suite of President Corazon Tuanco. So the artist or the designer of this room is Al Valenciano po. So there's a couple of details I know about this from Al. So if you see, she used to water, paint watercolor. Yes. And this is one of the daisies that she mm, um, would paint. Mm. Also, you can see that for the people mm. power. Where? The ribbon. Ah, yes. Oh, ma. He was born in Bagong, but he was born in Laguna po. And siya rin po nagmulat sa mata ng mga Pilipino. Uh, sa kamalayan. That's why nagsulat po siya ng dalawang libro tulad ng El, Filibus El Filibusterismo at ng Noli Metangere. And on this side, we have the, the military man. So let's... This is George Yulo. The boy again, designed by George Yulo. Oh, uh, Cobalt Blue. Yes po. The Centennial President of the Philippines. During his term, sina celebrate natin ang 100 years of independence. And he was also, siya po ay nakapagtapos sa West Point Military Academy in New York. And during his term, nagkaroon po ng shortage of energy. That's why he established the Department of Energy. Nagkaroon din po ng peace talk between MNLF and the government. And the Asian financial crisis happened. Pero ang Pilipinas po ang one of the least affected countries during that time because he improved the econ economy of the Philippines. Welcome to the suite of President Ramos. Who do you think? George Yulo. George Yulo.